Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Reverend Dream. And you know my better half, Miss. She's in today. And uh, we want to start out with uh, with a prayer. Because it's always good to start with a prayer. Of a morning, I like to start my day by when my eyes first open, start praying. Giving God the, the thanks and the glory that he righteously deserves for allowing my eyes to open. Uh, in 03, I had a horrific motorcycle wreck that took my life. And you say, how did it take your life? And you're here talking to us. Well, thanks to some great paramedics. Actually, back was dead. Was while I passed, but that's another thing today. But this lead us in prayer to lead it so that he is, is omnipresent. So if you have other before I begin today. I asked of you to lead me in prayer that these people that are will understand your word, will righteously seek what they truly need, not what they want. Father, we ask of you, Father God, to heal the sick, whatever problems that they have, whether it's diabetes, cancer, brain disease, Whatever the case may be, whether it's financial, Lord, that they need help paying their house payment, their light bills, their water bills, that their needs be met, Lord, that you allow this for them, not for their riches in this world, but to allow them to come by and say, give you all the praise and glory for giving them these things. In your righteous name. Father, if it be your will, walk with them. Guide them with the Holy Spirit. Let it fill their bodies, Lord. For they have no doubt that it is you that leads their way and their thoughts. Lord, please be with this message that it may touch someone's soul. Allow them the clarity of mind to reach them in their darkest hours. Father God, if it be your will, please allow them salvation that they may sit on your right hand and your throne and that they may witness to others and the multitudes to teach them as well how to get closer to you. Father, if we walk that path alone on a desert road, allow us to be happy and be us joyful as we walk. And know that you have us and are holding our hands along the way. Father God, if it be your will, allow the peace and the harmony and tranquility to come over each and every person's life here. Allow them to know that your son died, that they may have salvation. And you give the ultimate gift, Father God, by allowing your child to die for us. And so many people wouldn't give that for people they don't know or people that are sinful. But you did, Father God, and you gave it openly and kind-heartedly with mercy and grace that we all may find salvation. And if it be your will, Father God, before your righteous birthday of your son, Jesus Christ, on this earth that gave his life that we may as sinners be able to communicate with you through the Holy Spirit that you left here with us. Allow it to come into each other's hearts and souls. Let it guide them directly and wisely to find you, Lord, and to stay immersed in you and have the relationship that you righteously deserve. In these things we pray and ask, in Yahweh, Jesus Christ, mighty name. Amen. Now, I was going to talk for a minute 
on your prayer life. For the moment you accept Christ as your Savior, your life has been changed. You have experienced a joy and a peace which was given you as a free gift from God. Without de doubt, you feel the, the compulsion to thank Him for what He has done for you. It is completely fitting that you should feel this way. In order to properly thank Him, which we should do consistently, we must develop a, a daily prayer life. Sorry about that. It's exactly as we develop a daily Bible study time. Prayer is a communication with God. It is the following. Number one, praise. As we stated, we should praise the Lord, which means to thank Him for what He has done for us. The more we live for the Lord, the more we realize the worth of our salvation. The more we will want to thank Him for that. Number two, communication. Prayer is one of the greatest ways to communicate with God. What a blessing to be able to talk directly to your Heavenly Father. As well, during the times of prayer, the Lord will also speak to your heart, giving you leading and direction. Number three, petition. We are astonished to ask the Lord for the things that we need. He, as our Heavenly Father, desires to do good things for us. However, we must remember that it is His will which we seek and not our personal will. Consistently, all things we ask for, and we should readily ask Him for whatever it is we need, should always be done with the ideal in mind that we want His will and not ours. Later on today, please read the following scriptures carefully. Matthew 18, verse 18 through 19. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Luke chapter 11, verse 9 through 10. John chapter 14, 13 verse through 14 verse. Then you got 15, verse 7. Now, as you find out these verses, these are just Bible studies that you can follow along with. I could take and read them for you, but this phone would not allow that because of my battery time and my, and my storage time till I get another phone. So... Please take the time to study these verses and, and pray on these verses that God knows you as me. And remember that Share, subscribe, friends, that Jesus loves them.